What's this? Electric scooter. Wow. What do you say we get into it? So this right here is the Turbo Ant V8 folding electric scooter. Um, it was sent to me by Turbo Ant. So uh, thank you for sending it out to me. Uh, hopefully it's an awesome scooter. What I know so far is that it has max speed of 20 miles an hour, a max range of 50 miles, which is a lot for an electric scooter. It has three speed settings, uh, cruise mode and 450 watt motor, which is pretty powerful. It's not too bad. So let's unbox this thing and see what it can do. All right, I need a knife. I see you over there. Thank you. See ya. All right, let's get into this thing. You can see the box is a little tattered up. Came all the way from China. But the Chinese make pretty good stuff nowadays. Um, the last scooter I reviewed was a Varla Eagle One. You can watch that video up in the corner. Not a bad scooter, really well built, and I'm hoping this one's the same. Ooh, that looks cool. These scooters are always packaged so well. Looks like right off the bat we have some instructions. Styrofoam is wrapped up, wow. Attention to detail, they know. I don't like styrofoam. Oh, got some bolts coming out. Put those back in here. Let's put that down. What else do we got? Ooh. That looks like a, oh yeah. To charge the battery. Ooh. Man, it looks so cool. Oh. Got the power cord. That might be it. Not bad. Pretty simple packaging. Just toss this over there. rest of the charger there there we go locks in place handlebars probably clips right in oh yeah oh I have to screw it in okay should probably read the instructions on this one Operating instructions assembly and then screws which are right here Which ones do I use? It's a little vague. Okay. All right So these Allen screws go on the side and these go straight forward. All right, let's see Super simple to uh, assemble just literally bolting the handlebars to the scooter and you're good to go couldn't be much easier than that. So assembly is super easy. Got to make sure this is on all the way. There we go. And then there's just four bolts that hold this steering or the handlebar on. Looks like it has a nice display here. Very streamlined. Can't wait to see how it looks when it's on. Yeah. I'm thinking it's fully assembled right now. It, it looks like it. Like all the instructions say is to put the handlebars on and you're ready to go. Yep. This scooter here is what I would call the value scooter because it gives you plenty of value for your money. Um, it's well under a thousand dollars. It's got dual batteries, so much range. Uh, it looks futuristic. If you're looking for the best bang for your buck scooter, I think this is it. I mean, it checks all the boxes that a normal scooter buyer would want. Um, it's got excellent range. And for its price point, it's really just the best all around scooter out there. So I'm excited to see what it can do. Um, let's get these batteries charged and let's take it for a spin. Uh, 
All right, battery's pretty much charged. Ugh. Can't take too much time charging it because then we'll run out of daylight. So let's see, just shove it right on back in. See how easy it is to remove. So that's convenient. Other battery's right here. And if we turn it on, you can see that both batteries are at about 75%. And that should be all we need to give this thing a solid test. So, right now we are on eco mode, which is mode 1. Just like the last scooter I reviewed, it has three speed modes. Mode 1 is eco mode, which limits the scooter's speed to a lower level for maximum battery life. Number 2 is comfort mode, which delivers a balanced performance, an ideal option for most daily rides. And number 3 is sport mode which permits travel at the top speed, saving your time on the longer commutes. So we're just gonna start out on mode one right now, uh, which is the slowest, and then we're gonna work our way up to what feels the best. All right, gotta give it a kick. And yeah, that's mode one. It's just for getting around. It's got some good torque. You can feel it. So this is just for like cruising around. That's not that bad. Let's go to mode two. Uh, double press the button. And it makes a cool beep noise. That's mode two. All right, let's see how fast this is. I think it's about 12 miles an hour. That's better. Brake's very responsive. Oh yeah. It's like so smooth getting up to speed too. Yeah, so that's like the best range right there is mode two. All right, let's get it on mode three. So this, this is should be about 20 miles an hour. It's the fastest. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Wow, that's pretty fast. Okay. That's awesome. Let's see how fast I can get it. 12, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20. It caps at 20. I was probably going like 23 there. See how good it pulls up this hill. Remember, it's at like 75%, so it's not fully charged. This is a great scooter for like going around the city, any city area. Wow, that's that's fast, and it's got great torque. Let's see the brake lights. Does it have brake lights? Yeah. Oh, cool. It's got four of them. Awesome. Press the button once. Whoa. Makes a lot of beep noises. <laughs> so yeah, it this thing is really simple. It's easy to ride. It's super self-explanatory. Not a lot of bells and whistles, but you don't really need them. Um, does it have suspension in the front? No. It's got suspension in the rear. Um, let's see. Yeah. Perfectly oh, cool. stiff. This thing um, holds up to 275 pounds. Oh, cool. I didn't see these lights right here. Yeah. That's going to look cool at night. We got to get night shots. A lot of uh, lighting here, which is really cool. This thing looks so space age, doesn't it? Yeah. It's like unergonomic, but that's futuristic. Mm -hmm. How about we do the speed test first? And then from there, we give it an off-road test and uh, just see how we like it. Let's do it. All right, let's give this thing a speed test. We're on mode three. 
um, headlights are on which is fine and we're looking at about 70% charge all right ready yeah let's do it all right it's got some good speed off the start it's pretty fast I wouldn't want it to be any faster than this about 20 miles an hour and that's what it's capped to so it could go faster but this thing's not built to go fast it's just built to you know keep you efficient this is really fast wow oh it also has cruise mode so it just keeps you going if you want because i felt it didn't slow me down until i pressed the brake um i must have cruise control set or something again it's not meant for top speed it's more of a eco scooter super efficient goes the distance versus a scooter like the Varlo where it's just raw power for 30 minutes. Wow. Wow. That's not bad. It has cruise control. Really? Yep. If it notices that you're on the gas for like a certain amount of time, it just puts you on cruise control. It keeps your speed. So if you hit the brake, does it stop? Yep. Cool. It is cool. It's pretty quick too. It's not supposed to be quick. I mean, it's just a, it's an economy scooter, basically. Yeah, that's what I was saying. It's super, not supposed to be fast. Super efficient. Goes 50 miles. So we've dropped probably about 10% so far. Because I've been, you know, full speed, mode three. Yeah, flat out. Sport mode. It's really more for cruising around town, going to coffee shops. Exactly. It's a total city scooter. Yeah. But it's a nice one. It's not like those rentals. Oh, of course not, no. If you're on a budget or you just don't need a super high performance scooter this is definitely a good buy totally what do you say next we do the off-road test even though that's not what it's built for the tires are pretty meaty they're kind of all-terrain yeah sure Oh man. It's not really meant for off road. Yeah, it's not really meant for off-road. It's meant for commuting around cities and on concrete. Yep. But if it's on flat ground, it'll probably do it. That ain't gonna happen. This is what it's meant for. Sidewalks, city streets. That's what it's made for. Commuting. This thing shines when you're commuting. It's really comfortable. Nice grips. It's got a bell. 
going 20. Let's see. Yep, now it's on cruise control. I don't even have to touch it. It's just going 20. That's awesome. It's so convenient. So where this scooter really shines is its commuting aspect. I don't think I've said it enough, but this thing is meant for commuting. It's not gonna win the races. It's not gonna conquer the trails, but what it's gonna do is get you around town. That's basically what it's meant for. Commuting the cities, commuting the neighborhoods, private events, you name it. As long as it's not off-road, um, it'll do it. I mean, it speaks for itself, honestly. It's a great scooter. I'm I'm impressed. You know, it's doing what it set out to do. It's uh, delivering its promises. So, what I think we're gonna do now is wait until it gets dark, let these batteries charge a couple more hours, and it'll be 100% ready to go. And we can see how cool these lights look at night. All right, now it's time for the fold test. Um, on the website, they say that you can get it folded flat in three seconds. So let's see if that's true. All right, ready? Three, two, one. That was two and a half, yeah. So they're being um, generous with the three even. All right, and now let's unfold it. Done. Absolutely. <laughs> cool. Now it's time to put it on the charger. Wait till it gets dark so we can see how these lights look. All right, it's pretty much night time out. Got it fully charged. Let's see how it looks. Gotta go uh, grab a pizza from the gas station. So you got your scooter. It's got lights on it. So hopefully you can see in the dark. All right, we got it on mode three, which is the fastest mode. So you're gonna go get that pizza quick. Yeah. Let's see how this thing looks at night. Pretty nice spotlight. Woo. It's pretty fast on three. In the screen, you can see really high quality. Woohoo! See if I can make it up this hill real nice. It pulls. It's not bad. Nice, nice and bright. Yeah. You can totally ride this thing at night. In fact, I think it's kind of meant for that. The screen is a lot more visible at night. Oh yeah. It cruises. It stops really, really good. Let's fly past Ethan here. All 
All right, final thoughts on this e-scooter. I think it's excellent value, a uh, great bang for your buck. If you're looking for an entry level electric scooter, it's definitely an awesome commuter scooter for the city or a neighborhood. Um, wherever there's basically pavement and pretty much flat ground, it dominates that aspect. Um, not huge for off-road, but of course it wasn't made for that. Overall, I think it's an awesome scooter. I had tons of fun reviewing it. If you guys are interested in this scooter, go to TurboAnt.com or use the link in the description and go check it out for yourself. Uh, they're having a New Year's sale right now. You can save $150 on this exact scooter, so definitely go check that out. Uh, it just timed out. <laughs> there we go. Safety feature, I guess. Huge thanks to Turbo Ant for sending me this scooter. Uh, I really appreciate it. Uh, I had a blast reviewing this scooter, and I appreciate you guys watching. So until next time, see ya.